Hello, I'm Mark Erickson, and you're watching Infinite Solutions. If you're out with your laptop and you need an unprotected wireless signal, I'm going to show you how to increase the range of your 802.11g card to increase the probability that you'll find one. What you'll need is a Wi-Fi enabled computer, a cellular telephone, an Ethernet cable, and bear with me, aluminum foil and a salad bowl. Most wireless routers only transmit a couple hundred feet, or less depending on interference. The truth is, the latency of these signals travels much farther on the momentum of other networks and radio interference. Your Wi-Fi card doesn't know to extrapolate the router signal from the carrier waves. Your cell phone, however, knows to search for network pings no matter how far it is from the source of signal origin. So we've got to trick your computer to act like a cell phone. Coil the Ethernet cable around your phone. The tighter the coiling, the better the signal will carry. Now at some point, around 20 feet or so, there's diminishing return on the amplification, so don't go buy a 100-foot Ethernet cable to make a beehive out of your cell phone. Now plug the free end of the Ethernet cable into your computer. If you have a 3G network phone, you may already be done. View your network and internet connections. If some garbled name that vaguely resembles your cell phone shows up, you're using it as a secondary antenna. If not, don't worry, your computer might be utilizing it without disclosing. Most cell phones firmware is not designed to self-ID. Go back and check the wireless network availability. Before connecting my phone, we had access to six networks. Now there are 14. To extend your range even further, you can try this. Coat the inside of a salad bowl with aluminum foil. Now suspend the cable wrapped phone over the center of the bowl. Resemble anything? Yep, you've made a satellite dish. Of sorts. It won't give you satellite phone service, but it will help to boost the reception of your cell phone by around two signal bars. Now go back and check the network settings on your computer. 18. A modest increase. Probably not worth this arts and crafts endeavor, but it was an interesting demo. All these new networks may still be protected, but I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Ethernet induction capabilities of digital cell networks here on Infinite Solutions with me, Mark Erickson.